Hi, my name's Sarah. I am a children's librarian at the Broomfield Library and I get to do story time every week. And so I am bringing a story time to you while our library is closed. It started with some open, shut them. Here you go. Wiggle your fingers and now we're ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give your hands a clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. All right, thank you everyone. Okay, for our literacy reminder today, we have that rereading favorite books is not just enjoyable for children, but helpful too. Children learn through repetition. A study on language acquisition found that children pick up new vocabulary quicker from repeated readings of the same book than when they encounter the same words in different new texts. So keep reading your child's favorite book over and over again at home. Another lap rhyme. And this one may be familiar to you. We're going to do, this little piggy went to market, but in my version, our piggies eat cupcakes. So I'm gonna use my little helper here to act out the rhyme with you. And you can use the, your fingers or your toes. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy went all the way home. All right, I like to do things twice because repetition helps kids learn. So we're gonna do all our rhymes twice today. So let's try our other hand. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had cupcakes. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. We are gonna do a felt board story today. And this one is called Mrs. Wishy Washy. So you can kind of use the words when you're washing your hands at home with your kids because they're really fun to act out. So when I go wishy washy, wishy washy in the story, act that out with your kids and then say wishy washy, wishy washy when you're washing hands. Here we have our duck and we have our cow and we have our Pig. And here we have Mrs. Wishy Washy. Mrs. Wishy Washy lives on a farm with all her animals. The duck, the cow, and the pig. Well, Mrs. Wishy Washy does not like mud. But when you live on a farm, there's mud and all sorts of other things outside. Mrs. Wishy Washy goes inside her house to do some cleaning because she loves to clean. And the animals love mud. So when Mrs. Wishy Washy goes inside, the duck goes, Ooh, lovely mud! And she paddles in it and gets all dirty. Oh, the cow says, Oh, lovely mud! and she jumps into it. And the pig goes, oh, lovely mud. And she rolls into it. Oh, well, they're having so much fun playing in the mud. And out comes Mrs. Wishy Washy. And she says, just look at you. You're all dirty. She goes inside and gets her wash tub. All right and brings it outside, fills it with soap, soap and water, and says, into the tub you go. Into the tub goes the duck. And they go, wishy-washy, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. And they come out all clean. Into the tub goes the pig. And 
they go wishy-washy, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. And the pig comes out all clean. And into the tub goes the cow. And she says wishy-washy, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. And the cow comes out all clean. And Mrs. Wishy-washy goes, that's better. And she takes her tub and she goes back into the house. Well, the animals live outside and there is still mud outside. And as soon as Mrs. Wishy-Washy goes inside, they say, oh, lovely mud. And into the mud they go again. And that is the story of Mrs. Wishy-Washy. I'm gonna do a couple more rhymes. All right, let's do, I'm a little teapot. So stand up, put your hands on your hips. And I like to do a little swaying because I just always like to do that. And we're gonna do, I'm a little teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. <clears throat> all right, let's try our other side. Here we go. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Oh, let's do hey diddle diddle. We're gonna act out this rhyme with some motion. And first, we're gonna pretend to play the violin or the fiddle. When the cow jumps over the moon, we are going to jump. And then when the dog laughs, we're gonna pretend to laugh. We're gonna say, ha, 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 ha. And then when the dish runs away with the spoon, we're gonna run in place. All right, here we go. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed, ha, 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 ha to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. All right, let's repeat it, okay? Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed, ha, 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 to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. For preschoolers, you can keep doing this faster and faster, and it gets more and more silly. So I highly recommend trying that. Now we're gonna find our seats again, and we're going to do Itsy Bitsy Spider. And I usually like to sing it really loud first and then really quiet, but we're just gonna sing it really regular today, but with my puppet. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, now we'll do it with the actions. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, thank you everyone. That concludes the story time portion with the rhymes and the songs and the felt board. Um, you can now go online, broomfieldchildrenslibrary.org, and stream a picture book on one of our databases. You can use Canopy, Tumble Books, or the Sesame Street eBooks um, database that we ha have available online. So thank you for joining me today.